Lost Judgment is the direct follow-up to 2018's Judgment, a spin-off of the Yakuza series. Playing as a private detective, you investigate a series of murders around Tokyo, Japan. Lost Judgment aims to expand on what the first game achieved with a brand new story. But does it pull it off though? The latest game from the ever-excellent Ryuga Gotoko Studio puts players back in the pristine white sneakers of lawyer-turned-private detective Takayuki Yagami as he travels to the city of Yokohama to investigate a bullying problem at a local high school. The school is desperate to save face as it's been in the middle of a bullying scandal before where a student took his life because of it and it's up to Yagami to find out what's going on. In typical Yakuza fashion though, the story becomes all the more complex as a mysterious badly decayed body discovered right in the opening of the game ties into the school and its problem and Yagami is pulled into a deadly game to discover the truth that turns out to be bigger than anyone would have ever expected. Like all Yakuza games, the core story is excellent but suffers from pacing issues, with the story picking up and slowing down in occasionally jarring ways. Despite that, it manages to keep you engaged and guessing the entire time as you investigate, fight, skate and dance your way to the end with the usual twists and turns to throw you off just when you think you know what's coming next. Thankfully the game is also self-contained, meaning you can jump right in without having to play Judgment first. This has been a big issue for a lot of people wanting to try the Yakuza franchise and it's nice to see the studio make the game more accessible. If you focus on just the main story, the game will easily take you over 30 hours to finish, so it's hard to do it justice without stepping into spoiler territory. But know that as long as it is, the story and great cast of characters brought to life by some great actors will keep you hooked from the very first scene. Aside from the main story, you have a crazy amount of side cases and stories to get lost in, breaking up the serious tone of the main story with some quirky, funny and downright insane characters and moments as the series is known for. In the main missions, you'll be investigating suicides, bullies, murders, gangsters and more, while in the side missions, you'll be investigating UFOs, befriending cats, catching panty perverts, reuniting lost loves and much more. The game does a great job of balancing humor, sincerity and the serious, and no matter which way you turn, you'll never be bored. Lost Judgment has a lot going for it in terms of gameplay. At its core, it's a beat em up with RPG elements where you can get items, gear, and upgradable skills to turn Yagami into an unstoppable digital Bruce Lee, allowing you to use three distinct styles the powerful tiger, the nimble crane, and the new defensive snake style to punch and kick your way through virtual Japan. As you fight, you build up your EX gauge, allowing you to unleash some absolutely brutal finishing moves using yourself, the environment or weapons to put your foes down in style. These are a blast to unleash and some are hilarious to see, especially the new snake style where you can take out an enemy, causing them to pass out in fear. Combat is fun and once you master it, you'll feel like a badass out of a kung fu classic and later like a character out of the matrix as you unlock more skills. The only problem is at times the combat feels a little loose, with you viciously assaulting the air with a slick combo having knocked an enemy out 5 moves earlier. Outside of combat, you'll have Legend of Zelda style climbing sections, be investigating crime scenes and photos, tailing targets, having breakneck chase sequences, and be sneaking your way through restricted areas, breaking up the fisticuffs you'll often find yourself in, and although these sections aren't frequent or anything spectacular, they're a nice change of pace and helps Yagami feel like a real detective. Aside from that, the game has a ridiculous amount of fun side activities to get lost in. Yagami will find himself at a high school early on in the game and here you can partake in the fun dance club with its own mini story and dancing mini game, the robotics club where you'll basically be playing battle bots and even partake in some boxing. Outside of the school you can go skating, batting, golfing, gamble, customize and race drones, play actual classic Sega Master System games and much more. There's even an in-game VR board game where you can break your bank and make them stacks on stacks. In terms of design, the game is nothing short of stunning, delivering a very next-gen look on PS5. Character models look gorgeous from paws to blemishes to hair to clothing with the cities looking just as great with beautiful Japanese architecture faithfully recreated. The game shines especially at night, with the bustling streets bathed in neon lights delivering a great atmosphere to just run around and gawk at. 
Lost Judgment has the cheer of shortcomings, but they are minor and do nothing to hinder how brilliant the game it is. It has a great story, backed by some crazy, interesting and lovable characters, solid combat and RPG mechanics, and fun activities to keep you busy in between missions. Ryu Gagotoku Studio have once again delivered a beast of a game and a worthy entry into the storied Yakuza franchise. If you enjoyed this review, please hit that like button, and if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you got your hands on Lost Judgment, please let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.